Hello Marvel Legends, it's the start of a brand new year. So it's the start of a new year's worth of collecting. So what we gotta do of course is take stock of where we are right now. So this is a quick video to kind of set the benchmark. It's like here it is, it's the start of 2021. Let's see what the collection looks like and in 300 and however many days time it is because this isn't being filmed on the first, we can take another look and see how the collection has grown. Hopefully in leaps and bounds and with disgusting amounts of money spent on insane numbers of figures. I mean, hey, that's the dream. So let's take a look at it. So this is the quick run through. So we have the main Marvel shelf, which is basically I'm trying to do the heavy hitters. So we've got kind of a 90s vibe going on here and it's all Avengers in the middle. So we've got kind of a 90s Black Widow and got 90s Nick Fury and of course going across to the 90s X-Men. I mean, come on, nothing is more 90s than the Jim Lee X-Men run. What's Union Jack doing there? Well, I don't know, where else am I gonna put him? Then over on the other side, we have, well, first of all, we've got kind of like the Marvel Knights kind of, uh, you know, gothic spooky type characters here, which then sort of leads into Dormammu. And then uh, we go over to the Fantastic Four here. We got Doom, Thanos, Loki, like the big bads of those kinds of groups. Then of course, Black Bolt, uh, the Skrull, Super Skrull. And kind of a Frightful Four, kind of not entirely Fantastic Four, but I mean, I've got to take some artistic liberties here and there. So that's kind of my heavy hitter shelf with my little movie posters in the background too. So that's kind of fun. I need to get like comic book versions of those movie posters, that would be cool. Now we go kind of chronological, sort of chronological with a Spider-Man sort of slant to it. So this is kind of like Spider-Man in the 70s and 80s, I guess, uh, along with, you know, sort of wider Marvel as well. I'm still not entirely happy with the way that I've got things, you know, designed and the sections they're in, but you know, what are you gonna do? There's no sort of perfect way of doing it. So now we're moving more into the 90s. Got very kind of like 90s centric figures. I think I might put Centurion Iron Man in kind of like a West Coast Avengers type display, but still, uh, I'm digging my sort of 90s setup here. And then over to the mid 90s. And of course that is all about maximum carnage and symbiotes and clones and all that good stuff. Then sort of mid to late 90s, we have Onslaught. And of course, the sort of backup X-Men there. I'm getting out of breath doing this. We got Ben Riley transitioning over back to Peter Parker. And of course, we've got the start of Ultimate Spider-Man there as well. Then further down, we've got the early to mid 2000s. So it's all kind of new Avengers, Thunderbolts, uh, Dark Rain, Dark Avengers kind of people type here. And then we go over oh, to the sort of 2010s with uh, Red Hulk and Agent Venom, the superior foes of Spider-Man, the ends of the earth armor there, uh, superior Spider-Man, Black Cat, all those kind of figures over there. Now then, oh, let's take it to the Spider-Verse. So we're in the 20 teens now, I guess, with a fairly healthy looking Spider-Verse bunch here. Then we go down a little further. We've got all new, all different Spider-Man, where it's like Spider-Man International. We've got the Hunted storyline, so it's Craven and the various animal villains with uh, the Red Goblin there as well. All good stuff. Now we're getting real up to date with another slightly more sort of uh, street level, kind of street level sort of bunch here. So you got uh, Wolverine, Punisher, uh, Black Knight and Juggernaut from their, their storyline that those three were teamed up with fighting like, I don't know, trolls or something. <laughs> Uh, Monster Venom, uh, you got uh, Zemo kind of teams up with, uh, what's his name, Crossbones. We've got sort of Heroes for Hire type, who all featured in Absolute Carnage. And then finally, most modern, most modern for Spider-Man at least, we've got the newest symbiote type characters. We've got the uh, Legion of Losers here, 
who appeared in the uh, Sin Eater storyline. And then Deadpool and um, Monica Rambo. I don't really know where to put them. Whew. All right, now we have Modern Cosmic. So just kind of like Modern Fantastic Four and all the various cosmic sort of characters over Nya. Then over here, we have miscellaneous X-Men type characters. They, you know, all of these figures deserve more love. They deserve to be displayed better. And I just don't really know how best to do that. I'm kind of torn by that. Then to finish up, we have the extra X-Men teams. We have X-Force and we have X-Factor over here. Then of course, we have the Age of Apocalypse. All looking pretty badass there. Then over, finally, last but definitely not least, we have classic Spider-Man. Golden Age, 60s Spider-Man. God bless that retro vintage wave. Whew. And then finally, just to round out, we have the non-Marvel Legends. And of course, here is the updated Turtles with uh, Bebop and Rocksteady still in one piece. Look at that, they are holding together, thank goodness, from the most nail-biting, stressful unboxing I've ever done. But we got the thighs to turn, folks. All it took was uh, a considerable dollop of whiskey in the joints. And now the turtles are looking pretty damn cool. A few more to add, maybe, we can afford it. But I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Then we have the NECA movie type figure. So we've got the movie turtles over here. Then we've got a couple of horror icons over there. And then we also have the Terminator set up here. I need uh, maybe a little endoskeleton to round that out. And finally, we have the Hot Toys. So we got the Robocops, we got the Terminators, and we've got Alien and Predator. And that is the quick run through of my entire action figure collection. Ooh, doggy. There's a lot going on there. Hey gang, thanks for watching. I forgot to record like an outro, so I'll just hastily do one to camera instead, as is the style of model behavior. Folks, if you enjoyed that, let me know if you'd like to see a longer one, because that was only five minutes, but obviously I could talk for hours about that collection and what goes into it and the ideas and the thoughts of like, oh, this goes here and that goes there and oh, look at this guy, isn't that cool? That could be a massive video, but <laughs> I wanna make sure there's actually any demand for that before before I film it? Because you heard how out of breath I was getting just doing that. That's really quite sad. I gotta I gotta work out more. But still, that's another thing for another time. Maybe 2022 resolutions. In the meantime, though, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the data blast coming up now. The best things that I found on Instagram. Check the names of the contributors and go give them a follow because they're doing amazing work. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior.